Hello everybody, and welcome back for the second edition of my Winter Thought series. In this video, we are going to analyze the current expectations for the weather patterns that will play into the upcoming winter season. After that, we will look at my personal forecast, and what that means for your location. Without further ado, let's get right into this information. Here is the official probabilistic ENSO forecasts graph. The blue bars on your screen represent La Nina, the gray represents neutral, and the red bars represent El Nino. On the left side of this graph, we can see probabilities. The taller the bars are, the greater the chance of any given phase. If we zoom into the right side of this graph, we can see the forecast probabilities for September of 2022 through April of 2023. La Nina conditions have about a 50 to 60% chance of remaining during the late autumn into early winter months, before the chances start trending down once we move into mid to late winter, with a neutral phase becoming increasingly likely as we move towards the spring of 2023. El Nino chances are expected to remain below 10% for the next several months, although we do see a very slight trend towards an El Nino phase as we move deeper into 2023. That graph may be hard for some of you to understand, so let's go through a quick summary. La Nina conditions are very likely to continue through autumn and into the first half of winter. I do expect to see a gradual downward trend in chances for the La Nina phase once we move into late winter and then to the springtime of 2023 before a transition to an ENSO neutral by mid to late spring of 2023. At the same time, a gradual trend towards an El Nino may occur once we move deeper into 2023. Now that we know what ENSO phase to expect this winter, let's take a look at this map I created that explains what that means for different parts of the country. An active Pacific jet stream will likely stay situated around the Pacific Northwest of the United States for a lot of the winter months, which will allow for very rainy and snowy periods throughout the winter months. This could lead to flash flooding and avalanches depending on your location. A variable polar jet stream will allow for frequent cold and snowy conditions across this light blue shade. Because we expect this jet stream to move a lot during the winter, snow and cold may invade parts of the southern United States at times. Lastly, this large brown area represents an overall dry and warm winter. The jet stream will most likely stay north of these areas for most of the winter time, which will lead to decreased precipitation chances and warmer days. For the last portion of the video, let's take a look at the overall winter forecast. The green area in the northwestern United States represents where I expect rainy and snowy periods. The light brown area from the southwestern United States into the Florida Peninsula is where I expect mainly warm and dry weather during the winter. The bright pink shade from North Texas into Southern Virginia is called the Winter Battle Zone, or where I expect variable impacts from storm systems. Because if the active jet stream which I mentioned earlier, storms will likely take different tracks, which means that people in the Winter Battle Zone may see snow with one storm, but just freezing rain and sleet with another one. This now brings us to this red shade across the south-central United States into the southeast. This is where I expect the greatest chance for severe storms this winter. The next area is that dark purple color which covers numerous U.S. states. This is where I expect cold and snowy weather. Lastly, the dark pink zone from eastern Montana and Maine is where I believe the worst of winter will be, with extremely cold temperatures and heavy snow being a common occurrence. And that concludes the second edition of the Winter Thought series. If you are interested in seeing part 3, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when it gets released.